Hello, it is I, Curtis Palmer, once again. Today I want to talk to you about pursuing God's kingdom and his righteousness. This is important because to take ownership of your life and creation, you must be about God's purpose, which is to seek his kingdom and his righteousness, and all things will be given unto you. Remember, God will do whatever it takes to do it for as long as it takes. This must be your passion and purpose through all life situations. Jesus came and spoke to his disciples saying, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Satan is no match for this power and is bound by its authority and must submit to it along with his demons. That's because Jesus disarmed the rulers and authorities. Um, he made a public display of them, having triumphed over them through his death, burial, and resurrection, but specifically through his death on the cross. You see, Jesus was born great, just as you were created great. He achieved greatness, just as God plans for you to achieve greatness. And he had greatness conferred upon him, just as you have also. Because all of his greatness he conferred to you when you were born again. Greatness is within you, so that the things you do will become great. The question is, do you want to realize it? God says, commit to him what you plan to do, and your plans will succeed. See, the problem is, most people don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. So you must plan every day. You must focus on planning. It is here that you will experience security, stability, peace of mind, and clarity. It will be a lifestyle that is characterized by righteousness, abundance, prosperity, and good health. All of what God has promised. If your desire and goal in life is to experience this quality of life, my desire is to inspire and assist you in accomplishing the same. I can guarantee that if you apply what I am teaching you here, you will have that same life change and experience. Living a self-controlled life through the power of the Holy Spirit characterized by righteousness, living, righteous living and abundance. So stop struggling with your spiritual walk if you are. Unleash your power if you have it. Redefine what is possible if you choose to and reach your full potential because it's available to you. Don't spend the rest of your life suffering because of your ego or your lack of understanding. Everything in our life is controlled by our decision. Remember, all good things, according to God, are ahead of you. So it will be a conscious act from a spiritual thought. That's where the pleasure will be experienced. This act serves as a bridge between dreams and reality. So, develop your lifestyle according to the Word of God which consists of faith, giving, enjoying, and self-control. Jesus said he came that we may have life and have it in abundance. Are uh, you having life in abundance according to God's word? Is God's word being um, revealed in your lifestyle? Remember, although as a child of God, you are allowed to do whatever you want. You must remember, however, not everything is good for you if you want to live the quality of life that Jesus died and rose again for us to have. Meditate on these things. From God's perspective, be blessed and be a blessing to all that you come in contact with this day. That the world will know that hope and deliverance is here as they see your deliverance, your hope, your quality of their life based on the word of God. Joy talking to you. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Have a great day.